Hello grade 4, welcome to our new science session. Today we will start solving the science revision sheet for the fourth quarter. So please before starting prepare your sheets and follow me while we are solving. If you are ready now we can start with question number 1. Energy can change forms. Which picture shows electrical energy changing into heat energy? Electrical into heat. This pot which is on the stove, the sun, the fire, or the man who is running. A change from electrical energy into heat energy. The answer will be letter A. So, we will underline letter A. Why? Because this stove has electrical energy and when you turn it on it releases heat so the electrical energy changes into heat energy the next question number two jack has a pogo stick like the one shown when he jumps on it the spring squeezes towards the ground and then moves back to its starting position the potential and kinetic energies of the spring are forms of which type of energy? Both the potential and kinetic energies, both of them together, make which kind of energy? Chemical energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, or mechanical energy? As we studied, the sum or the total sum of potential and kinetic energies equals the mechanical energy the next number three a scientist measures the movement of energy between a pot of hot water and a cold metal spoon what is he measuring heat current insulation temperature the transfer or the movement of heat from an object which is hot or which has high temperature to another object which is cold or which has low temperature means heat. The next question, number four. This picture shows a pot of water heating on a stove. Which statement explains what happens to the water in the pot? The water, the water temperature decreases inside the pot. The water will freeze when it gathers enough heat. Heat energy travels from the water in the pot to the burner. Or heat energy travels from the burner to the pot and then to the water. Do you think that the water temperature will decrease? What does this mean? It means that the water will be cold? Of course not. The next one. Will the water freezes because it gets a lot of heat? This never happens. Let's move to letter C. Heat energy travels from the water in the pot to the burner. So it moves from the water to the fire or the stove itself? No, but the correct answer is letter D. The heat will travel or move from the burner to the pot, then to the water. So the best answer is letter D. Now, question number five. Alex knows that radiation is a form of heat transfer. Which example describes a transfer of heat through radiation? Do you remember radiation? The heat will travel or move without having any kind of matter. No solid, no liquid and no gas. Let's read the examples. The first one, a cup of hot tea warms a hand. Is it radiation? A flame warms air 
in a hot air balloon. A puddle of water warms under the sun. A pot of boiling water warms on a gas burner. Which one here expresses radiation? It will be letter C. Why? Because the heat of the sun will move first through the space. There is no matter to carry it. Then it will get down to the puddle of water. So here this is radiation. The next question. Sam holds an ice cube in his hand. After some time passes, the ice cube begins to melt. Which term describes the process of heat transfer? He's holding the ice cube in his hand. So there is connection. He's touching two solid bodies, touching each other. Which heat transfer is it? Is it radiation, insulation, conduction, or convection? Touching means conduction. Seven. What type of energy change takes place as a car burns fuel to race down a track? The fuel is burning inside the car. Then the car moves. Which transfer is moving here or which change in energy? Is it electrical energy to light energy or kinetic energy to potential energy, chemical energy to kinetic energy or mechanical energy to kinetic energy? When the fuel is burning inside the engine of the car, this is chemical energy. Then when the car is racing, it's moving, there is motion or movement, so it's kinetic energy. So the answer here will be letter C, from chemical energy to kinetic energy. The next question, number eight, the total energy of water as it falls from a waterfall is which type of energy? The water in the waterfall is moving and then stops and then moves. So which type of energy is it? Heat, kinetic, potential, mechanical. It's mechanical because it has both kinds of energy, kinetic and potential. So the total energy here is mechanical energy. Question number nine. The appliance in the picture creates what kind of energy? Here it's a toaster. Which kind of energy does it create? Fraction, heat energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy. Of course, we use it to heat bread, so it releases heat energy. Ten. The ball in the picture has the girl is just holding the ball. It's in possession. It's not moving, just holding it. So it has kinetic energy, electric energy, potential energy, or nuclear energy. The energy of possession or condition is potential energy. 11. Any plugs a radio into an electrical outlet and turns it on. What a change in energy takes place when she does this? She plugged the radio into electrical outlet in the wall. Then the radio turns on. So the change here from what to what? From light energy changing into sound energy or electrical energy changes into sound energy sound energy changes into electrical energy or chemical energy changes into sound energy 
the answer will be the electrical energy will change into sound energy 12 fossil fuels are the most common source of energy what else is true of fossil fuels fossil fuels are renewable they form quickly under the ground they can be made in a laboratory we can form them form them they are burned to release energy which one is true about them do you remember when we studied fossil fuels like gas oil natural gas what else coal all these forms release energy also gasoline what is true about them what do they give us they need to be burned like the gasoline inside the car and then they will release energy so they are burned to release energy the next question 13 a rolling ball has kinetic energy what does it mean for an object to have kinetic energy what is the definition of kinetic energy the object is in motion the object has stored energy the object has used all of its energy the object is passing on its energy kinetic means the energy of motion so the object is in motion it's moving rolling so the object is in motion 14 objects can have potential energy because of their possession which object has potential energy book sitting on a table hands turning on a clock spinning wheels on a bike flag flapping in the wind what is potential energy it's the energy of possession or condition the object is still it's not moving the only one here which is not moving is letter a the box sitting on the table now question number 15 objects may have potential energy or kinetic energy how do potential energy and kinetic energy compare to each other both describe objects at rest when they are sitting both describe objects in motion while they are moving both are forms of mechanical energy and increase in one leads to an increase in the other which one did we say it will be letter C both are forms of mechanical energy now question number 16 Jesse knows that conduction is a form of heat transfer which transfer of heat energy is made through conduction? Hand heats a snowball, radiator warms a home, boiling water heats pasta, sun warms a greenhouse. Do you remember conduction? Means touching. Two solid, two solid objects are touching each other so it will be hand heats a snowball 17 on a warm sunny day a lizard sits on a rock which word explains why the lizard feels heat from the sun the heat's coming from the sun through convection fraction gravity or radiation of course it will be radiation why because there is no matter to carry heat it moves through nothing no kind of matter 
Cariot. The next question, 18. Each picture shows a source of heat. Which picture shows heat transfer through convection? What is convection? It's the transfer of heat through liquids or gases. Which picture here shows this? Of course, it's letter C. The heat here is moving through the liquid inside this pot. So, it's convection. Now, question number 19. Mary had a glass of water. The temperature of the water was 40 degrees Celsius. Then Mary added some ice cubes to the water. After 10 minutes, what would the temperature of the water most likely be? It was 40 degrees and she threw ice cubes. Are they hot or cold? Of course, they are cold. So the water will lose some of its heat. The temperature will decrease. It will get down. So which one will be most likely the best for hair water glass? Will it be 50 degrees, 45 degrees, 40 degrees, or 35 degrees? Of course, it will be 35 degrees because the temperature will decrease. It will get down. It will lose some of its heat. The next one. The thermometer was in the shade. The sun begins to shine on the thermometer. After 15 minutes, what would the temperature most likely be? Let's have a look here. This thermometer has two scales. The first one, as we studied, Fahrenheit, and the second one is Celsius. When the sun heats the thermometer, what will happen? Do you think the temperature will increase or decrease? Of course, it's getting high, so it will increase. So, will it be 25 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, or 10 degrees Fahrenheit? Here it was about 12 degrees Celsius and about 58 Fahrenheit. So, how will it get high? How will the temperature increase? It will be 25 degrees Celsius. Why didn't we choose 25 degrees Fahrenheit? Because if we choose 25 degrees Fahrenheit like this, the temperature didn't increase. It decreases. It's getting down because in Fahrenheit scale, it was 58. So, it will never be 25 when the sun heats the thermometer, but it will be 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, grade 4, that's all for today. Don't forget to solve these questions in your sheets and study them very well for your quizzes. Thank you and goodbye.